morning everybody welcome to the strawberry moon my name's lulu and i'm bringing you some love joy and positivity with our reborn family this week i think we're going to be looking mostly at baby girls and i have got some really gorgeous baby girls and we're going to start with little kira melanie she is the lisa sculpt by audrey sturter and she was reborn by Ellie's Babies. Ellie's Babies was the first nursery I ever dealt with way back in 2011 when my reborn journey started. Before that, I did have lifelike dolls, but they were what I would call collectible lifelike dolls. Uh, I had Lee Middleton's, which I started with, and then I had some, uh, uh, one Ashton Drake baby who was one of their very first Silique babies. And she was kind of my halfway point between collectible lifelike and reborns. And then of course I had my first reborn who was actually a silicon reborn. I don't have her now, but um, she was a gorgeous baby. And then, and she was an Ellie's baby. And then I went on to have Ellie's babies. And of course my first one of all is right over there sitting in the corner and he sits by me day and night, night and day, except when I move him so that I can have a little bit more room to film. Anyways, up, here's Kira, and we're gonna change her into the most adorable new outfit that I have just got. Most of my baby clothes come from the nutmeg line, unless I go designer and get stuff from children's salon, which I haven't just for a little while. I really like the nutmeg line because I can get them fairly easily locally from uh, one of my local supermarkets um, but uh, they're not too expensive but they're very good quality and I really do like them so I'm just going to change a little madam out of what she's got on which is a cute little summer outfit and I'm going to just hand those to your ear there we go. and I'm going to take off her socks because she won't be needing those Give those to you as well. Those won't need to go in the wash. Thank you. So, what we have here, look at these. This is just the cutest thing. So, this is a little pink, um, sh what I would call a shorty romper. It has little cap sleeves um, and it's legless and it's a rusty, rusty pink colour. And then it has a white undershirt, long sleeved, with tiny pale pink dots. And it comes with uh, tights, white tights? Light pink. Oh, light pink tights. And rusty pink little booties with bunny ears. And it really is the sweetest outfit. So we're gonna start by putting on the tights. I hope you all had a nice weekend. I had um slightly ouchy weekend because my bones decided to play up which i know why they did it was because um i was changing lacy into that beautiful givenchy dress that she was wearing on friday and it was actually quite difficult to get her into that i had to do a lot of sort of gentle tugging and lifting to get her straight and my bones decided on Friday evening, all through Saturday and through most of Sunday, that they really did hate me a lot and told me so loudly and vociferously. So it was slightly an unhappy weekend, but that's the kind of thing that you tend to get when you have osteoporosis and you decide to pull a 42 inch baby, well not a baby, a child doll around. <laughs> It's just one of the hazards of life. We don't care. Are we downhearted? <laughs> so, I managed to get everything that I needed to get done done, which was the main thing. Um, I have always jobs for the radio station I managed that I need to get done in the weekend, um, which I got them all done anyway. And on Sunday, evening I was in bed by six and I slept right through until quarter to seven the next day. Next. 
because I woke up very early this morning and I managed to get, I've, it's a busy day today, I've got a lot of work to get done for the upcoming week and I managed to get some of it done before Rhea came, which was good. So it is all good. So there are her tights on. And let's just undo this. Oh, I think Kira's going to look so amazing in this little outfit. Okay. I started a little of my Christmas shopping yesterday. And I've also decided I think what I'm going to give Lacey for Christmas. Oh, it's a onesie! I thought it was a t-shirt, but it isn't. It's actually a onesie, which I actually quite like because these button at the bottom and you're not always having to tuck them in. They don't get rucked up, which is quite good. This is a cute onesie, actually. All right, baby girl. Let's put this over your head. Oh. There. Ah. What a cute girl. You're a cute girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a beautiful girl. A really beautiful girl. Oh, yes, you are. What a beautiful girl. I had another piece of exciting news yesterday. There will be a Christmas baby in the house. I wasn't sure whether there would be, but there will. And it won't be Joelle. I know Joelle is coming home sometime soon. That's my fairy child. Um, that is coming from Beyond the Closet Art Dolls in America. But I don't know when she's coming home because she is being rooted, but it's taking a while for various reasons with which I won't bore you at the moment. But um, obviously Christmas is a very busy time for dear Jamie. And, you know, I know that she will get done as soon as she gets done. So it's fine. But... You know, I might get you out for Christmas. We just don't know. I will get you out when I get you out. And I'm, you know, absolutely fine with waiting for time to take time. But there has been a, a baby that I've really wanted. And that baby is coming for Christmas. There was one that came. And we actually, it was really cool because I was able to, I able to send Rhea the link on eBay so that we're not buying any pigs in pokes. So Rhea checked her out for us and she is an absolute little darling. So, oh, botheration. And she is coming and I will see her at Christmas and you will see her just after Christmas. Oh, look at this. It's just so cute. It's made of, um, the romper itself is made of like a knitted cotton, which is really cute. Come on, beautiful girl. There. Beautiful, aren't you? Yes, you're so beautiful. Oh, she's gonna look fabulous. She is just gonna look fabulous. Aren't you? Yes, you are. You're gonna look fabulous. There we go. There we go. And just have these up and over. Oh, just look at that. And we'll button up at the front one. And two. Oh, I, I'm 
No good with tiny little buttons. Oh, look at these booties. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, and they've got Velcro on. That's really cool. Oops. Fumble fingered mummy. One. I think I know which, which cuddly she's going to have to, with her in the pictures today. I always like to have a cuddly in one of the pictures in my photo sets. And I've got a whole load of nice, um, nice cuddlies now. Oops. There we go. Oh, look how cute. Look, Rhea. Oh my gosh, she's lush. Isn't she? Just amazing. Come and have a cuddle, cure bug. Doesn't she just look adorable in that? It just, oh wow, it looks amazing on her. She's so tiny. She's so tiny, aren't you? Yes, she is. She's so tiny. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> well, uh, I've really enjoyed being with you today and showing you little Kira in her beautiful new outfit. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing her. I will be back tomorrow with another one of the baby girls. I'm not sure which yet, but it will be someone. So do come back and join us then. In the meantime, I'm still just nipping and tucking and trying to get these creases out. In the meantime, we will say, take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Are you getting away for goodbye? Yes, she is. And please, let's be good to each other. <sighs> Love you, beautiful girl. Bye-bye. <laughs>